Hello everyone, welcome to another Go High Level tutorial. Today I will show you how to connect Facebook Lead Form um, to your Go High Level. Also, I will show you how to create a workflow for that Facebook uh, Lead, um, you know, Lead Form. So uh, if you have any questions, uh, you know, comment down below. Also, click the first link in the description if you want to get a seven-day free trial on Go High Level. Let's get started. So first of all, what we'll need to do is we'll need to switch to our sub account here. Uh, from our sub account, we need to go to settings. Uh, obviously, the sub account that where we want to go and integrate this. So, go to integrations, connect your uh, Facebook account. Uh, I will not connect it for now, but make sure to connect it here. Uh, once you connect it, uh, make sure that on that Facebook account that you connected. Uh, that you have or already a lead form set up, right? So this is for the people that already have lead form set up. Now, once you have that, once you connect that, you will see in the Facebook fields mapping right here, as you can see for me, it says couldn't find the Facebook page ID. But as you can see, if you click here after you connect, uh, this is how it's going to look like right here. So as you can see, you will have custom fields. Uh, actually, this is how it's going to look like. Facebook form fields mapping. And then what you'll need to do is you'll need to click on the, um, you know, or, or your form and make sure to map fields. Once you click map fields, you will go here and you will see that you can map a uh, first name field, last name field, email field, whatever field you have in your Facebook form. Um, now also to note, if you don't have these fields, you will need to go here into custom fields and you will need to add fields um, you know, for that form. Once you add a field, for example, business name, that business name will be here and you will be able to select the business name. So once you do that, save and that's pretty much it. You can also add custom fields in the custom field section, as I said right here, custom field section, uh, and then you will be able to go and uh, you will be able to set up your, um, you know, your Facebook lead uh, correctly. So after you have that, uh, what we can do is we can go to our uh, workflow. So right here, as you can see, we can go to automation right here and we have workflows. So from workflows, we can create a new workflow here and we can start from scratch here because we want to create a workflow uh, where whenever someone submits a lead form, uh, they will get an email and they will also, uh, we will also update the opportunity or create an opportunity. So uh, here, as you can see, what we need to do is we need to add Facebook lead form submitted, we can add a filter and we can select uh, a form, right? But we don't have a form right here. So you can do this yourself. Make sure to go and go to the filters in form and then select the form that you want to add. Now I will just add it without filter, but make sure you add it with a filter. Now once that is here, uh, what we'll need to do is we'll need to add another action, which is send email. So you'll basically send an email when someone submits that Facebook lead form, you'll send an email to them. Then obviously after you uh, fill this out, make sure to save the action. I'll not fill this out because I'm not doing this for myself. I'm doing this for tutorial purposes. And after you have an email right here, make sure to add another action where it says create or update opportunity. Here you can select the pipeline where that lead will go to pipeline stage, opportunity name, opportunity source, lead value. For example, opportunity name could be chiropractor opportunity or anything like that. Uh, and then allow opportunity to move to any previous stage in pipeline. You can do that and allow duplicate opportunities. You can do that. Then once you save the action, you will basically have the whole entire workflow, um, you know, basically for your uh, lead connection and lead form connection. So that's basically how it works. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, comment down below and we'll see you in the next video.